this video, I'm, uh, this segment, I'm going to show you how to correctly and, in, and not to correctly uh, charge your gun or uh, on, before your next uh, spearing adventure, the correct way to, uh, to charge it or um, cock your bands. First, uh, first of all, you want to make sure that your gun's on safe and that you cock your gun in the water, not out of the water on the boat. That's uh, a lot more dangerous. So I make, and make sure you have it nice and secure. Maybe I, I like to put it on my weight belt on my hip, uh, so that you know securely the handle secure and not not going to slide off my belt. And have it face. Make sure it's facing away, not facing anybody. Nobody, not nobody can get hurt. It won't miss, if it misfires. And I like to face it downward in the water. Pull it with one. Pull the band with one hand and hold it, so you can get your other hand up around the bands. Same with the your right hand. And then from this position, you want to pull evenly on both sides. Your elbows close to the close to the gun, and just pull up until you're over the notch. So of all, you want to. Make sure your gun's on safety. Have your gun pointed down, away from any objects. So in case of a misfire, nobody will get hurt, or you know you won't. Well, you won't hurt 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 anybody. So uh, the second thing you, you want to do, you, you point your gun downward. You have your hand, your left hand, secure it around left side of the rubber, the band. Your right hand, secure it around the right side of your band. And then you pull in toward your chest um, evenly, with even force, until you're around the pin or your notch. Or you know, if you have a metal wishbone, you have a notch. Which in this instance, I'm using a Dyneema wishbone. So I have a, um, a, sh a, f a shark fin here. Yeah, and make sure when you do have your gun loaded that the band is, uh, you know, securely around the, the shark fin or in the groove. Because a lot of times it could slip on you and, you know, you could really get hurt if the band slide out into your hand. I showed you kind of about the, um, the, the far wishbone. Rest them in rear position or something. The safety tip um, on most shafts, you're going to have a, a tab, way, three tabs on the top for you to load, the, load your line or your band onto. The first, the first, the first um, notch or shark fin for, for this instance, you can pull your band onto. That's like a resting point. You can pull your band onto that first point, have it there, bring it in which uh, then you can uh, reposition the gun up higher onto your chest where you get better leverage. And from there, you can pull it onto the second or third band. I mean, uh, second or third notch. Um, yeah, that's a good tip. Another safety tip. For when your, bat, when your gun is already loaded, you don't want to be ha having your hand on top of the gun, you know, as you're swimming through the water. Because the thing is, it's charged, and if it does misfire, you're going to get severely hurt. So you want to keep your hand away from the muzzle, you know, position it on, a, on the bottom of the gun as you're swimming. And point it down and away from anybody so nobody will get hurt. Okay. Um, Here's another tip in case your gun might be already loaded and you're already done spear fishing for the day. Um, you get your bands are are um, charged. You know the best way to do it is like uh, going in reverse. You have your gun locked on your hip, safety on, and of course point it away. It's like going into reverse, but the bands will be here. Make sure you have it nice and secure. You know, on your, in your, on your belt, wherever you feel comfortable. I like to have it when I'm unloading because the bands are charged, it'll be harder. I kind of like put it a little higher on my, chest, my, um, my abdominals. And then I'll, I'll have the gun pointed down, 
pull the, pull the bands off slowly and then slowly retract them one at a time. So when you get down here, it'll be you know still stretching your hand. You can just let it go one at a time. Do the same for the back, second band, and then recharge it. I mean, I'll discharge it. And that's it. Another way to this, um, discharge your gun when you have your bands loaded and you're done for the day spear fishing. Um, the best thing to do is you aim it down in the water, water column, the bottom, and fire it away. Make sure nobody's around and uh, there's nothing that possibly get injured unless there's a fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nothing else, nothing can get injured and you just fire the gun. And then that's done. You can just, you know, reload it. Have it all ready to go. There you go, you'll be done for the day. I hope these tips will help you out in your next spearfishing adventure and hope to see you again. Aloha.